Hey guys, it's Alex Silicatus from Silicatus Team on YouTube, and today I'm gonna be showing you my new project called Work. Um, and uh, of course, I made it in After Effects because that's the program, the program I work in. So um, this is a small tutorial showing you how to just change the logos, the text, the textures, the background, and many other things. So um, I'm gonna show you the project again if you didn't see it. So here it is. That's it. So I'm gonna start with um, uh, the logo. Okay. So um, first I added a text file here, and of course uh, when you purchase the project, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna uh, keep the text file there and your own logo. Okay. So instead of your logo, you can just type whatever you want. I don't know. Just put the logo, for example, now. And then you can change the font, of course, to. Uh, I'm gonna change the typo to typography. One second, where is it? Typography uh, logo, yes. For me, I love the typography one. It looks professional, simple, and professional. And that's the point of, of everything. So. Let's just press Ctrl D. Okay. Yeah, there it is. So, <coughs> so um, you know the pictures that I inserted there. That's for that's um, these pictures are from a, a HD wallpaper pack that I downloaded. So you can change these too, also. So, okay. There, 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 there they are. Uh, this is a picture of, um, of a Range Rover. You, of course, you can change it. You can just need to find your own picture. Right, so, one second, I'm just gonna try to find some. Okay, I think it's this. Go here. Then I made a folder for these. So, just import them here. I just want to hide this one because I don't want to ruin the project. So I go there and I put the size. Okay, okay, it looks perfect. Now I made this. Of course, you can change whatever you want. But okay, now you see the text that is under the picture. I'll just click the placeholder text and here. Okay, I'm gonna change it for example. Um, airplanes. No, I'm just gonna put um, the sky. The sky is blue, or whatever you want. So it depends what, what you wanna put and what the picture is about. So, yeah. You see, you know, it's a um, project. Okay, then uh, I don't I don't know if you want to change um, if you want to change the this part. Well, of course, you can change it also. It's uh, simple and easy. I'm just gonna show you. One sec. Okay, you can change the arrows, but I wouldn't like you to change these because uh, I made them in Photoshop and 
they're perfect, they're good enough for your work. So okay. Um, if you want to change the text that this arrow shows, just go, go here to text one arrow pointing. You click it, then just type whatever you want. So I'm just gonna write arrow one, arrow two, and arrow three. Yeah. Arrow, arrow one. I'm just gonna remove this part. And okay, I'm just gonna, you know, yeah. And there it is. Uh, but I don't like uh, the size of it, so I'm just gonna change the size here. And now it's perfect, yeah. So, um, if you wanna change the text that is in the circle, you just do the same thing. You just press the text, uh, the text, and just erase it and just. Put a circle or whatever. Okay. Yeah. There. Okay. Um, for the bullet points now. For bullet points. Um, that was a quite, that was a quite tricky part to make, but I I made it in the end. So just press the text for bullet point number one. It's easy. So you put bullet bullet one one here and it will appear there. Wait, you just go to the bullet points. Okay, there it is. So now you, if if you want to change the second one. And of course you can add three. Three or you get three with uh, with this project, but you can add four or five by just duplicating this layer. By just pressing Ctrl B and then just move it. That's it's that easy. Okay, okay, just forget it. Now for now. Um you go to um, the text for bullet point number two. You change text point two. Okay, then <laughs> and that's basically it with these bullet points. <coughs> then when you're done with that, um I don't know if you saw in the beginning of the project um, the phone, the pencil, the rubber, and um, and uh, the tablet. All of these are just simple images, simple images that you can change whenever you want. So the trick is um, with this. So I made um, I made I made um, the phone. That's the HPC. Phone. Uh, the other one is um, this one. Uh, it's a tablet from Dell, and uh, you can change whatever you want. Here for the notebook, I found a notebook um, on um, on Google, and I just uh, cropped it and used the magic tool to remove the the white and um, to just make it transparent. And then I duplicated the layer. And then, so it could become more clear to everyone. Then, uh, then um, uh, I designed the phone. I designed it uh, many days ago. Uh, it's um, yeah, like I said, the HTC phone. I can show you. The, it's also on uh, for sale. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Um, one second, PSD right there. This uh, HTC Nebula. Uh, I'm not gonna open the PSD file yet, but that's basically how it looks like. Yeah. And um, I have many other phones. But if you wanna change the HTC to, for example, Motorola, just go to PNG file. I'm not gonna erase it, but I'm just gonna hide it. And 
I go to the PNG file here. That's it. One second, wait for it to load. Okay. Okay, okay so now I'm, I just need to resize it because it's too big. Okay, a little more. Okay. There. And now you're gonna see it in the Motorola one. Okay, if you don't like the position of the Motorola, you can wait one second. You can always change it. You can change the shape, you can change whatever you want. Okay, so now for the tablet. For the tablet, you can put paper instead of that, or you can just you can add a laptop. I couldn't find a picture of a laptop, otherwise I would add a laptop there because it's uh, normally uh, normally on a desk you always have a laptop, not not a tablet, but still. Um, okay, instead of uh, the um, coffee uh, mug, you could have added I could have added a um, tea something else or cold drink. Now for the pencil and rubber, I made um, I, I could have added a marker. I already made a marker. Okay, it will look like this, but much smaller and you just need to fix the size and other stuff. Okay, look. See? There. Okay, it's here. But I still wanted to use the pencil and, uh, and the eraser. Okay, now what is left? The background. Okay. So my friend, uh, my friend uh, Lucas, uh, Lucas from um, from SuperX Arts, he gave me uh, he gave me um, the background that he found on the internet. So I just used it, and uh, I I added uh, the Coldplay uh, logo. Of the song called Play Paradise, because normally I wanted to put this that song um, on YouTube, but um, it got copyrighted, so I had to erase it. That was the biggest problem. But I'm still not gonna change it. Okay, now uh, what is left? What is left? What is left? Okay, if you wanna change this text, it's simple and easy. I just showed you the arrow thing. You hit you here. Okay. Uh, if uh, you wanna, if you would like to use the song uh, that I use in this project, that I use in this project, you should go to Audio Jungle. And uh, I'll put a, a link in the description down below um, about the author who made this song. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching my video. And uh, soon I'm gonna be making more tutorials and uh, many more things in After Effects.